Welcome back to Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love! Now it's time for Fishing with Mr. Benferf! Previously, we had to go fishing for an energy eel. And we also had to find some golden dentures for this dude. But the good thing is, I did it on the off-screen, just what I said I was gonna do. I caught a whole bunch of different kinds of fish. I have a fishing card right here. I, I filled most of them up already. Because it takes forever. There's only one missing, and yes, the shoe does count as a, uh, as a fish. Don't question it, he's the master angler here. But here's some of the fish you can find, and uh, I have some locations written down too. You can find the shy Xander, uh, uh, hold on a second. My notes are covered. There we go. You can find the shy Xander near the general store, or the uh, florist or the seed shop. It's pretty common. You got the... I suppose... I guess it's supposed to say chutzpah carp. And you could find that only around the general store. That's the only place I caught them. You also got a sweet fish. You could find that around the fruit shop and nowhere else. Also, you see I have a lot of yellows and blues left. I have like four blues, six yellows. I went crazy with the, the bait. Little buddy, we already know where those are at. They're pretty much everywhere. The long leg shrimp you can find at the florist in the seed shop. We know all about the energy eel now. And of course the big buddy. You saw where he's at. And this you can find pretty much everywhere. It's it's like a general trash item. But it counts as a fish. Anyway, we have to show him one last fish. And it happens to be the energy eel. Make sure you're showing him the fish. Not hitting sell. Because if you hit sell, he's going to buy the fish and not hit the stamp for you. Now we could go ahead and sell our fish now. Because the card is complete. But we don't want to do that either. We, ha we have more plans with this energy eel. What? That's your dinner? That All of that is your dinner? Even the shoe? Well, at least you got a prize for it. A secret sticker! We're the village fishing champion! That's a one of three secrets in this area. You can't do the other ones right now, though. But we did get a gold stamp card. If we got eight stamps at this location, it's gonna send us on a world tour. Ten more fish! The thing is, those fish are not on this page. Let's just take a look at how many fish we're talking here. We got all the fish we originally caught, plus ten more. Yeah, that's something we're gonna have to deal with later. Obviously, there's a way back to other pages. Or maybe there's more fishing spots up ahead. But then how do we get back here? Heh, weird question. Anyway, might as well move on. We got an energy eel for the mushroom lady. Certainly don't want to sell it to uh, Mr. Benferf. We'll come back and sell fish later. We have a quest item in our inventory and we don't want to get rid of it. That would be reckless. Oh, rare fruit! Don't mind if I do. Bariki, you know the thing. Do it. I'll never get tired of that, especially since it gives me so many rupees. If there's only a way to make even more rupees in the game. Because, I mean, working at the... at the soil, at the... the plot, whatever you want to call it. That's not very lucrative. Fish, kinda. But that's because we have quest items, so we need selling. Uh, hey, do you want a, a chutzpah carp? It's filled with positive energy, that might be good for your husband. Now, obviously she wants the energy eel. I wonder what happens if you give her the wrong fish anyway. Here, have a chutzpah carp. Why the heck not? No, it isn't. No, it's better! Also, where's the purple coming from? Is that your purse? There's a little purple thing dangling, like, right below her right arm. Yeah, I think it might be a purse of some kind. Okay, she doesn't want chutzpah carp, she wants an energy heal. Here you go. Husband is saved. It sure is. It certainly wasn't a chutzpah carp. Yeah, it was, like, super easy. It was like my very first catch in that area. This will liven up her husband very good. 
Everyone knows an energy eel is like... Seafood Viagra. That's how I think is going on here. He needs stamina. Come on, this game is known for being dirty already. There's been dirty things all over. Alright, there you go. Now, uh, Gas Apple. Gas Apple for me? Hello? Uh, I'll see you later. You don't have a Gas Apple anyway. Gas Apple! Give! Yes, thank you! That's exactly what we needed. This mission has been taking forever. Said he used to grow the fruit here, um... Operative word there is used to. It hasn't been around for a while. But Iona might so know something about it. Too bad she kinda hates us. Well, we do have clout with all the women in the village. Well, most of the women anyway. Maybe that's enough to get Iona on our side. Oh, the one that's a pervert? I think she is gonna mind. Yeah, we're looking for a gas apple. Uh, oh, well, that's not good. She doesn't want to talk about gas apples. No, we just showed Tingle to her. Well, I guess that is doing something to her. Okay, well, uh, Iona obviously doesn't want to listen to you. What can you do? I guess we're gonna get a public escort there. Now we're gonna have to face her in person. And sounds like somebody's hungry. Lion, was that you? It has been a long trip. Wow, we arrived here real early in the morning. Yep, we were doing fishing and we were doing field work. I just remembered what it was called. We were doing lots of things to make rupees. So she's gonna make us a lunch. Great! What do robots and scarecrows eat? So something tells me her menu is gonna be entirely made of fruit. Alright, sounds good. I mean, Iona can wait. Our train's not going anywhere, obviously. It'll fill up and then we could deal with her. Let's eat! And that is the end of page six. Our train is still broken down, but at least we learned how to love push and fish. And do field work. Tingle's a man of many talents. All thanks to middle-aged Pit. Thanks a lot. Oh, it seems like Iona is still not too pleased with us, though. Ow, you've really gone to town on those fruits. Yeah, I didn't even know she could grill bananas. Well, you know, he's a strong guy. He has a strong appetite. Oh, yeah, Iona. Gas apple time now. Alright, she's gonna go on ahead. It's a brand new chapter. In the same town. This is new. Well, yeah, what else are we gonna do around here? Besides things we've done before. Why are you breaking the fourth wall all of a sudden? You don't need to do that, lion! Welcome to Chapter 1, Miss Village. What, is she like the princess of this village, or what? Oh hey, look, the, fr the fruit respawned while we were standing around. Maybe she used some of this rare fruit as part of that meal. Oh well, I'll keep the leftovers as rupees. Yeah, plenty of rupees to go around. 
Alright, I guess we should go to Iona's. I mean, what else are we going to be doing with our time? Sadly, I don't think that fishing contest is running anymore. Iona, hey, we want gas apples. Give them to us. She ain't opening up for the fruit seller. Rude. Uh, oh, but she opened up a little bit. Now she obviously sees the problem here. It's right in front of her. And you hung up because you're rude. She can't stand Tingle, even hearing about Tingle. Come on, we just need a gas hat and we'll be out of your hair. Your very pink hair. We just want to know about the gas apple. I'm pretty sure she knows about it. Oh, I was expecting her to slam the door shut on us again. Oh, old family secret, huh? He's not a molester! Ain't it bad that someone has to vouch for Tingle like this? So, she's very stubborn. You can be honest here, everyone else was. Hmm, if only we had some way to do that. Okay, well, thanks for trying anyway. Oh, you finally got it, didn't you, Lion? So, Iona is kind of miffed at us, but... Girl diary time! Wait a second. Holy cow! She really hates Tingle! Oh, love boss. Okay, um, I really don't want to deal with all those hearts. Can you just talk about this? Uh, playing hard to get. So, she doesn't want Tingle getting too close. And she doesn't want to tell us about the gas apple. What if it was just a regular stranger like Bariki? Alright, she doesn't want us getting too close to her either. Alright, fine, we're gonna do this the hard way. It's love push time! Alright, let's see what Iona is weak against, because the Tinglometer knows all. She likes food, tool, and hobby. She hates style and decoration. She also likes mature, gorgeous, and rarity. And she hates pretty things. Well, she'll be into this steak gum then. Here you go! Do you feel like talking to Tingle now? Only a little. One third of the way there, and that's a really strong item. She likes it, though. We're getting somewhere. Kinda out of food, though. Uh, let's see what else we got on the docket. Let's try tools. Hmm, no gorgeous, but maybe there's some mature and rarity? No? All I got is... Cool things. And cool and rarity things. Well, this will actually be quite effective. Have some lipstick soap. Please don't make me go shopping for you. Oh, that was a little more effective. She likes that too. Just not as much as the other things. So, let's see what else we got. She likes hobbies. I got lots of hobbies for her. She really hates decoration, though. I can't give her this. Even though it's mature. Ah. Gotta offload those things sometime. This is mature and gorgeous. You'll like a springs guide. Oh, wow, that was super effective. Well, I guess if someone's into seeds, they would know lots about springs and want to know more about them. So we did it! Iona's at least friendly towards us, but she has more hearts. I wonder what that could mean. She was. She, she crammed a fruit down his throat. Yeah, that happened a few times before already. They're the tidiest tights. Yeah, 
well, that's just part of his charm. This is a lion. It's the guy whose name is Tingle. Yeah, weird name, I know. Here's Kakashi. And that's Bariki. She's to the point. Can we do things with gas apples? Oh, this is sound like a wild goose chase now. You don't know about gas apples? You lived in this village. Oh no! Well, we kind of got that clue when she said a long time ago. Like what? Find seeds? She's been looking into ways to grow the gas apple. All right. Uh, how fast do these gas apples grow again? So it's teamwork now. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Great. Well, she is right there. Why don't you ask her? She's got to make me do everything. Looks like there's three conditions involved. I know this because I'm psychic. Wow, she's a fast reader, I gotta say. So she's really studying that manual. Anyway, uh, d did you find out anything? W while I love push you some more? Look, I know she's not going to be into it, but she's getting a moist meter whether she likes it or not. Oh! Critical fail! Oh! My, my moist meters are fantastic! Wrong level. So... That's a new facet I haven't learned yet. All I have is level 1 items, and she's... Higher now. It's gonna be difficult. Breaky love analysis. Why is she a higher level now? Yeah, I see that. Twenty years old. Oh, good. She's the marrying sort. Just saying. We want to know about these conditions I've read about in the chapter. We got field fertilizer and a gas apple seed, of course. We can't grow a gas apple without it. Oh yeah, that one. We couldn't really contact the person. There was a monkey just laying waste outside. But that field is to our liking. The owner is kind of, uh, you know. So, Tingle has to work his charms. We're gonna have to negotiate with the land plot lady. Luckily, we got a letter from Iona. We got lots of clout in the village now. Too bad our popularity didn't go up because of this. So, we gotta show her the letter. Also, we need to find fertilizer for the field. Incredibly quickly! We don't want to be stuck here for months. Butterfly wing dust. You know they use that as fertilizer. I mean, we could have just found some bats and got guano, but we better catch the better fly instead. So it looks like a burning butterfly. Got it. Now, what about the gas apple seed? Well, you own the seed shop, you should know plenty. Well, they did grow them. So she's looking into that now, but we need to take care of the field and the fertilizer. So it's time for some field prep. So that means she is plot locked until we get the other things we need. So we'll just see you around then, later. Oh, you weren't there a second ago. Who are you? Dance partner? I mean, we're just trying to get gas apple seeds, buddy. Uh, no, we're not after that at all. Well, 
what? Normal people don't wear green, like, ever? Ho oh, ho! That is a 20,000 rupee name! No, actually, it's stupid, and I hate you. Baron Nimi. That, that's more pronounceable. We're not gonna shake, though. You might catch us tingly. Yeah, something tells me she's not gonna go for that. She doesn't seem like she's that kind of girl. There, take advice from Tingle. He knows what he's talking about. Ah, Tingle, you gotta hold him off. Baron Mini! Yes, he is quite short, isn't he? And his name is Kakashi. Don't get it wrong ever. Lion will throttle you. So, that was Baron Mini. Uh, he won't be relevant to the story. Not in the least. Oh, so where do we need to go? Oh, yeah, we have things we need to do. Like fields, and fertilizer. And here's Baron Mini again. Man, he gets around, doesn't he? Yeah, we just met, like, a few seconds ago. Yeah, we can't do that. This is plot-related. You can just stand here and nod your head. He's plotting the perfect way to get a Tingle. But Tingle's unstoppable. We might as well get this field thing out of the way first, right? Hey, lady, you feel like talking now? We got a lot of people here, they might be familiar. So, we need a way to introduce ourselves to the landlord, and I like how Baron Nimi stops uh, what he's doing to look at the thing. Like he's eavesdropping. Uh, we have this letter, but this is a... This is a speaker. This can't possibly work. Uh, I can't analyze it because I know exactly what Breaky's gonna say. It's the same thing we saw three videos ago. This is a, this is a really long visit to this village. Might as well try it. Uh, can you hear this? I'm trying to transmit this through sound. I'll read it to the speaker. Oh! Is this when it gonna do that? Technology, am I right? Oh no, the monkey. I don't know. What is monkey? I'm an adult. Well, you should. They should all be named that. Well, fine. Now we gotta find out the monkey's name. <sighs> How are we gonna find that one out? Uh, anybody know the name of a monkey around here? Because all I know is Donkey Kong, and he's not really a monkey. I mean, we could just name any human in town, because they're all monkeys! <laughs> it's a bird joke. Oh, I wonder what the old man went, anyway. Uh, now we gotta hunt for someone that knows about monkeys. Iona's too busy researching. I'm too busy getting all these rare fruits. Breaky, you know the job. Maybe the name of the monkey is inside one of these rare fruit. Oh, that doesn't work. Ah, uh, Iona's mama is around here, right? Maybe Iona's mama knows some things. Oh, there's, a. Uh, there's the old man. I can see the family resemblance. I wonder who Masaro is. Probably her brother. Why don't you go help pick Poco Nuts with her brother? This is the grandfather, not the father. So, somebody's looking for Poco Nuts now. Uh, I like the button on this conversation. Yeah, tell me about this Masaru and his Poco Nuts. Poco Nuts. It sounds like Pokemon stuff. 
No, I don't know who Amasaru is. Oh, okay. This is the monkey. So the grandfather owns the monkey. And he's looking for Poco Nuts right now. So we're gonna have to hunt down a monkey, but we also know about Poco Nuts. And, and the monkey's name, more importantly. The heck with the Poco Nuts. I mean, we got the rare fruit to gather. So, this might as well get this plot thing out of the way. And this plot is moving very slowly at this part of the game, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know that now. I'm the best at knowing monkey names. His name is... Masaru! Let me just, uh, type it out real slowly and send it through the speakerphone. So now we have to deal with our rental lady. Oh, speaking of which... It's you again! No, he's bad boy. He was eating bananas and stealing dentures. Only the human people. Well, they know your name, so they have to be trustworthy. So, she has some kind of alliance with this vile monkey. Also, what the heck does she have growing out of her head? Hey, you should talk, lady! You got no nose! Well... We're getting nowhere with her now. She just gotta look at Tingle. Next time on Ripe and Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love? We gotta love push this lady. Yeah. I have mixed feelings about that. Good night, folks.